please. No, you don't! Stop torturing me! Go away! No! No! Give me a lap! Please. Okay, can you take my hand, huh? Come here. I know you so long I am, but he's gone. Okay, it's just the two of us. We're safe. You're safe now. Do you understand me, boy? But it's not gonna keep Lulu off the witness stand. Oh, John, don't! Come on! Don't! 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 See now, that's what I was saying. Your brother is a threat to everybody in this department, especially to me. So I'm sending him out to Pentonville where he can cool down until this trial. You try it, and you will find out firsthand what the Zakars mean by retaliation. What are you gonna do? Put a horse head in my bed? If I was you, I would focus on saying goodbye to your brother. Every time I think it can't possibly get any worse, you find a way to make it worse. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have grabbed like that. John, you think? What, what, what happened? I mean, why was Lulu freaking out? What was she screaming about? I'm having a hard time getting over Logan's death. Well... She sees things. Sometimes, all right? Visions. Yeah, Nicholas told me about that. No, but hearing about it and seeing it are two completely different things. You know, obviously, she's not faking. I'm a believer. Thank you for actually acknowledging that. Right, but the question is, why? Why, Johnny? Why is she so haunted, huh? What really happened the night that, that Logan died? Lulu, we're not going to pressure you. If you want to talk about what happened, great. If you don't feel like it, that's fine, too. Lulu, if Dr. Winters is going to help, she should know. Do, do you want me to tell her? Jason Morgan thought it was a good idea to, thought it was a good idea to tell a member of your staff that he was her brother and then take her down to the PCPD. To see Johnny. Yeah. Well, she was in the interrogation room with him. And she just started screaming. I'm not sure what set her off. I wasn't in the room, but... I did hear her say that... You're dead. Stop torturing me. It's like she was seeing Logan again. I just think it might be a good idea if you could just talk to her about what happened the night Logan died. I understand you want to help your sister, but Lulu needs to find her own way in her own time. There's no need to hurry. Lulu can talk about the night of Logan's death when she's ready. There's nothing to talk about. Logan showed up at Crimson. He wanted me back. I turned him away. He left and he was killed, and it's not Johnny's fault, no matter what you believe. Lulu, I don't want to upset you. I'm just, I'm just trying to help. Well, if you really mean that, you wouldn't have taken me away from Johnny. I told you that I wanted to stay. Lulu, I was just afraid. No, just... Stop touching me! Leave me alone! Why don't I walk you out? Lulu, get some rest. I'll check on you later. She's getting worse, isn't she? 
I'm afraid so. Lulu walked in and saw him laying dead on the floor, knife sticking out of his belly. It's no wonder she hasn't been able to shake that image. Well, hey, you know, a dead guy with a knife sticking out of his belly, that, that's a hard image to shake, but it's not enough to make you go crazy. Not you, Claudia. Maybe not me. I grew up with violence our whole lives. It surrounded us. Lulu's different. She... You just... Uh, you always have an excuse for her. Always, John. <clears throat> What the hell is happening in here? All of a sudden, Baldwin is emergency petitioning to have you transferred to Pentonville? Hey, you know what? You better get it fixed. You better take care of it, Trev. Well, I don't think I can. Well, then we need a better lawyer. How do I call Rick? That was... Can't help your defense because he's not here. And if he were, he would muck up the process anyway. So like it or not, you are stuck with me. I don't like it. You are not the one who figured out how to get my father released. Rick is. Right? Rick is the former district attorney who happens to wield considerable power over the current district attorney by virtue of the fact that they have a child together. So, Rick in charge of my brother's defense. Hmm. That works for me. My sister's got a point. You want to really help, Trev? Give old Ricky a call. Oh, are you two living in a bubble? Richard doesn't give a damn about you or your defense. And you know why? He knew that you were in trouble, and what did he do? He gathered up little Molly, and he split the light fantastic out of town on a father-daughter vacation, and he hasn't been heard from since. Huh? And you can't even reach him in his cell phone. So, I am going to defend you by myself. happening so much quicker now. I'm seeing Logan every day, sometimes more than once a day. I just, I can't help myself. I start screaming and then there are times that I feel like I'm not going to stop. I feel like whatever is grounding me in the real world is stretched tight like a rubber band all the way to its limit. It would just be so easy, so quick to snap it all the way. And then where would I be? Would I be where you are right now? Am I going to be in a hell of my own making? For a split second, while well, I was holding his hand and I was listening to him tell me that everything's gonna be okay, I believed him. <sighs> oh, what a beautiful moment! I could see it. Our future, being happy, and then Logan came. He wants me to pay. And he's not going to stop until I lose my mind. <laughs> he's going to get what he always wants. He's going to win. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> 